From time to time, I ask myself, was it ever profitable to mine Bitcoin directly over buying the coin? And I say that from a perspective of a used to be GPU miner. I'm used to mining what's most profitable and converting it into Bitcoin. Around the time I got into crypto mining, end of 2020, early 2021, ASIC machines were stupid expensive. Really, ASIC machines weren't even on my roadmap when I was GPU mining. But what I'm asking myself today and asking you as well as ChatGPT, was it ever more profitable to mine Bitcoin than to buy it? Because today, makes sense to just buy and hold. So I'm gonna look at a couple of things here. I wanna look at the roadmap from the last couple of generations of ant miner Bitcoin machines, from the S17 to the S19 and now to the S21. Base level machines, and I'm looking at release launch day prices, or essentially what AI was able to find for me. So if you're ready to find out when it made sense to mine Bitcoin over buying Bitcoin, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. When did it make sense to mine Bitcoin over buying it? So like I said here, I use ChatGPT to help me come up with the figures on this. So if they're not completely accurate, blame AI, don't blame me. This is just a conversational video. I'm not condoning going out and buying Bitcoin miners or buying Bitcoin. You gotta do what's right for you in the time that's right for you. That being said, let's hear a word from today's video sponsor. Tired of waiting around for your mining rewards? With Via BTC Script Mining Pool, payouts are fast. We're talking minutes, not hours. Once your earnings are confirmed, you get paid. No delays, no drama. And if you're into flexibility, Via BTC makes it easy to switch between top coins like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Caspa instantly with zero downtime. Just click and mine. Want to boost your profits without burning more power? Try Litecoin Merge Mining. With Via BTC, you can mine Litecoin and get up to six other altcoins at the same time. No extra effort, no extra electricity. And it gets better. Via BTC is now SOC 2 Type 1 certified, proving their commitment to rock solid security and trust. So if you're serious about mining smarter, not harder, Via BTC has your back. Fast payouts, flexible mining, proven security. Start mining with Via BTC today. Check out the links in the video description. So comparing the S17, the S19, and the S21, we're looking at April 2019, May 2020, and March 2024. That's a big time span difference there. About a year between 17 and 19, and then four years between the S19 and the S21 original series release dates. They had a bunch of different S19, J, K, Pro, Plus, Super models. I'm not talking about them. We don't need to go down that rabbit hole. We're looking at 56 terahash at around 2,500 watts. 95 terahash at about 3250 and 200 terahash at 3550 watts. The cost per machine, again, I'm getting all of this from ChatGPT, depending on where you get it from, of course. And we're looking at an original release price of around $2,800, $1,800 and $3,900. Was the S19 really only 1800 bucks? We're doing all of this math based on a 10 cent kilowatt hour power rate, which is kind of unreasonable nowadays, but it wasn't back in 2019, 2020. So the network hash rate snapshots were around 50 exahash in 2019, 115 exahash in 2020, and 860 exahash in May of 2025, this year. And of course, the block reward schedule went from 12 and a half Bitcoin to 6.25 Bitcoin to the current block reward of 3.125 Blick. Bitcoin, Bitcoin per block. And if we can assume a 98% uptime and a pool fee of around 2%. So our S17, if we left it online from release date, online days is 2,233 days online. Mining almost one entire Bitcoin that entire through that entire time with a $13,000 power bill. Considering you were probably gonna replace fans, maybe a control board or a hash board along that, maybe consider another 1200, 1500 bucks or so for parts and maintenance. With today's value, around $105,000 Bitcoin, that you made about $100,000, $99,750. So your net after your costs, cost of power, cost of parts and maintenance, 
cost of the original machine, be looking at about 85 grand. The S19, uh, days online is 1,845 days, mine a little over a half a Bitcoin, 0.63 BTC. Power bill is a little higher at just over 14,000. Parts and maintenance around the same, 1,000, 1,200 bucks or so. So your value in today's value of Bitcoin is 66 grand. And your net after costs for all of that with that machine is you'd net about $50,000. Now the S21 has only been out for about a year. So we only have uh, 445 days online and it's mined 0 0.072 Bitcoin up to this point in our scenario. Our power bills a little under 3,800 bucks. Parts and maintenance, maybe $500. So our total value mined so far is $7,560. Our net after costs around 3,300 bucks. Now, the flip side of that, what if we just bought Bitcoin instead? at each of those dates throughout time. So in April of 2019, the Bitcoin spot price around launch date for the S17 was $5,200. So if we spent 2,800 bucks on Bitcoin in 2019, we would have got about a half a Bitcoin. Today's value is roughly 56 grand, which means we would have mined more Bitcoin value over time than if we had just bought it at that time on the S17. Makes sense by about 46%. The S19 in May of 2020, Bitcoin was $8,600. If we'd have spent that $1,800 for the cost of the machine on Bitcoin itself, we would have bought 0.21 BTC. And at today's value, it's worth about 22 grand. So mining that whole time made sense, coming out to 129% more value than just buying it. But now we get into S21 territory, where in March of 2024, Bitcoin was at $65,000. And if we would have spent 3,900 bucks on Bitcoin, we would have been able to buy 0 0.06 BTC. And today's value is worth about 6,300 bucks which in the S21's case makes more sense by about 88% to buy and hold in that short time frame. Now, a couple things to take into consideration here is resale value. S17's, S19's are scrap metal prices today. You're not gonna get what you paid for it out of the machine when you go to resell it. S21's, as of right now, on the other hand, because they're only a year old, you could recoup a majority of what you paid for at the time of buying it if you bought it brand new and you got it at list price. A lot of vendors will mark that up a lot to resell it. If you're interested in buying any uh, crypto mining hardware, I'll have links to some reputable distributors that I know and trust. And if I got promo codes, I'll put those down there too. Another piece to look at is the noise and heat of mining at home. The S19 and the S17s push over 80 decibels or so, and the S21s calm down a little bit at around 72, 75 decibels, but that's still about as loud as a lawnmower. Uh, and because of that, there's some local ordinances and HOAs that just won't let you scream machines at the top of their lungs in your backyard in a shed or whatever so you kind of got to get creative there like some other crypto mining youtubers have with ac infinity fans and immersion cooling or liquid cooling asics things like that and then taxes those are changing it seems like every year and definitely every uh change in administration i'm definitely not a tax professional so you should not ask my tax advice what, it, what am i getting at here early cycle machines like s17s and s19 19s mined during those lower network difficulty and higher reward time frames. So even at higher power residential rates, they crushed it. They beat the mine uh, or the, the buy and hodl method over time. But so far, these late cycle machines with rewards being halved, a nine times greater network hash rate and the difficulty increase and the current price of crypto mining hardware. I mean, realistically, yeah, everything gone up in price, but dude, that's, that's, it doesn't make sense for me to buy two machines and stick in my basement at the current prices versus spending that same amount of money I would have spent on those machines and then just buy Bitcoin and wait. So what am I getting at? I guess mining did make sense if you nailed the timing right and the price of the hardware. But today, unless you can get really cheap hosted power rates or your power rate at home or somewhere is a, a ridiculously cheap power rate, I'm talking five cents, six, seven cents maybe, or wait for price dips, mass screams just, just buy the coin. And that sucks. Leave a comment down below. Do you have any crypto war stories or boxes full of broken hash blades down in the basement? 
hash boards, not hash blades. That's another different story. And if this is the kind of video that you enjoy, consider subscribing for more like it. See you guys on the next one.